Welcome to this short recorded webinar on Metalform EDU Content Deep Dive. Metalform EDU was launched in the fall of 2018 with redesigned PMA exclusive content and a whole suite of courses designed to meet your company's needs from the shop floor to the front office to your leadership team. Training is critical. You want employees to have the knowledge, skills, and abilities to be safe, effective, and efficient from day one. Employees want to know you support them so they can be successful in their current role and continuously learn and grow for potential future roles. Whether it's training for new hires, ongoing training for compliance, upskilling in a particular area, or developing someone for a new position, employees always need training and refreshers. Online training is a great supplement to all the other ways you grow and develop your employees. Online training is especially useful for orientation and onboarding, technical skills development, soft skills development, mandatory and compliance training, and overall employee engagement and retention. Many of you likely purchased either the DVDs or VHS tapes of PMA's press break operator training in the past. If you have, you'll know those training materials no longer reflect current technology and safety standards. PMA made a significant investment with a highly regarded instructional design firm to redesign all of our exclusive content to meet the needs of today's learner and to reflect current technology and practices. We will continue to work with members and industry experts to determine new content areas to develop training and update the training materials as needed. Metalform EDU licenses are purchased by whoever your company designates as the HR or training manager. It can be a person in your office, a team leader, your HR representative, etc. As of April 1, 2019, we simplified the license options based on customer feedback. We now have three purchasing options, a metalforming only license, which includes our PMA exclusive content that cannot be found anywhere else, a Spanish metal forming license, which includes all the PMA exclusive content except for the metal spinning and economics courses, and a full library license. Each license is for one person and is available in different time increments, 1, 3, 6, and 12 months. PMA members receive more options and better pricing. Now let's check out the metal form EDU portion of PMA's website. This is the main area for all things Metalform EDU. As you can see, there are many links on the left-hand side with valuable information. The first thing I'd like to show you is our online catalog. This catalog is set up by topic area, so you can browse any of these categories. So you can click on a given category, and it will give you information on each of the courses that fall in that category, their learning objectives, and a few other pieces of information. We also have another version of the catalog that I'll show you, and that sits under the resources page. This course catalog is a PDF, and what's great about this document is you can scroll through and you can also search for anything such as a keyword or a course ID using Control plus F. So as we scroll through, we've got several recommended learning paths. So these recommended learning paths are mandatory plus elective courses that we've put together for various roles. And then if we navigate farther down into the catalog, for example, we'll give more information about specific courses. So it will show you the course description, the learning objectives, and the estimated amount of time in hours for the average learner to complete the course. We've also developed a new tool that I'll briefly show you that helps you decide which type of license is best for your unique situation. It's a downloadable Excel document, and what it shows is all of the courses that we have available on the Course Selector tab. So all you need to do is put X's into the boxes for any of the courses that you're interested in. So we'll pick a couple just to show you how it works. And then what will happen is, We'll go back to the license calculator tab in a moment and we will put in the amount of time that we have on average per week to train this given employee. So in this yellow box 
we'll put in two to say we have two hours per week to train this employee. So based on the courses that I've picked and how many hours of learning and the amount of time I have available, this recommends purchasing a full library license for a time period of 30 days. So you can repeat this process as many times as you need for any unique situation. So let's close out of our license calculator. So now we're back on the Metalform EDU page. So Metalform EDU accounts are individualized, which means they help learners progress at their own pace. And managers can choose how many courses an employee is assigned to based on the licenses that you pick. Each course is fully narrated and all the text is shown on the screen, which allows learners to both hear and see the material. Each course has interactions, drag and drop activities, simulations, and other activities throughout the course to keep the learner engaged. Now what we're going to do is log in as a learner. So I'll pick one of my demo learner accounts. So we'll click this learner login button right here. He will log into one of our students accounts. This is the Metalform EDU homepage for our demonstration learner. So let's click on the go to your learning center blue tab. And this will take a moment to load because we have lots of courses assigned to this demo student. Once it loads, we'll see a list of all the courses that this student is assigned to. So now what we'll do is we'll pick a couple courses to show you the look and feel and layout. So I'm going to search for PMA-1001. So this is a PMA exclusive course on introduction to metal stamping. Now you can see the layout of this course. First we have the course content itself. Then we have the study guide and the assessment. So let's get right into the course. So it'll load the video and audio. I'm going to mute the sound just so I can explain a little bit about the course. So employees are able to go through the course at whatever pace they like. So if they feel confident with the material, they can go right to the assessment. This way the program is not taking up valuable time from you, the employer, or them as the individual learner if they already comprehend the course material. Each course starts out with learning objectives, so we've got them defined on the screen here. Then the course will progress screen by screen, and as you'll see, there are simulations and interactive screens where the learner will click a play button to see movement simulated. Then there are activities such as drag and drop. So let's move into the course. The Stamping Press. A stamping press is a piece of equipment that uses tremendous force to cut and form metal into piece parts. Piece parts are usually used to make other products. So as you can see, there is animation going on for each slide, and the words that are shown on the screen are also fully narrated, so learners can both see and hear all of the content. I'm going to skip forward a few slides until we get to one of the activities. So you can see there's a play button here, so I'm going to go ahead and have the narration go back on, and I'm going to walk you through this play button. An opening in the lower half. This stamping process transforms the sheet metal blank So as you can see, the play button will show as a play button as many times as there are different animations. And once the learner sees the replay button, it means they've seen all the animation that there is to see for that particular slide. So let's move forward. We'll do a drag and drop activity. So these happen a few times for each course. Some involve a picture, and there's dragging and dropping of words. Some are more just word to word, so word to a definition. And what's nice about these activities is it's not graded. So there's no penalty for a learner learning during this process. And it also won't let them put things in the wrong place. So the learner can fast forward through this if they feel confident, or they can take as much time as they need to participate in that activity. So let's keep moving forward. So I'm going to unmute it again for a moment here. And build up, so they need to be removed. Slugs can be removed. The operator needs to remove slugs and scraps so that they do not build up. So as you can see, we've got very nice images that are not specific to a brand of equipment, 
but they allow the learner to really see the operation of the course. So let's scroll all the way through to the end of the course. So each course will end with a things to remember. So sometimes it's images and sometimes it's text. But as you can see for this one, there's a play button. So that means there's more than one screen of information. So these things to remember cover all the learning objectives for this particular course. So this is a review for the student before they go to take the final assessment. So at this point, we have gone through the entire course. And remember, we've fast forwarded, so it would take an average learner a bit longer to complete this course. So we're going to close out of the course, and we are going to go back to the assessment. So the assessments are multiple choice, and what's great is each assessment is pulling from a pool of questions, so a learner can retake the assessments as many times as they need to feel confident with the material and achieve a passing score but they won't see the same questions in the same order every time. They'll see different questions in different orders with different answer choices presented in different orders as well. So we'll just scroll through and we'll go ahead and pick answers for these so you can see uh, what the result will show for the learner. So we'll submit this test. And as you can see, you get results right away. So we only achieved a 20 out of 100, so we haven't passed. The pass score is 70%. So the learner can again go back and take the assessment as many times as they need for completion. And the HR manager is able to see each and every assessment attempt along with when they did it. Now let's look at PMA-2012, trial stamping first piece approval. So I've got this one muted. But as you can see, there are learning objectives, just like with the last course. And we'll walk through just a few of the screens here. So this shows the steps for a trial run of first piece parts. We have an example where students can hit the play button as many times as they need. We've got different examples of how to inspect parts and different defects another simulation looking at bottoming marks. We'll fast forward a little bit here. So a drag and drop activity. So this one as you can see it's the images that we saw a couple screens ago. So the students are now supposed to do a drag and drop. More simulations and interactivity. So we can see it being fed. We've got control panels, which again, we try to keep very um, generic so they're relatable for all of our students. Quality assurance, a general inspection standard sheet. And then as we progress through, we'll get another drag and drop activity. And then we move through towards the end and we've got our things to remember. So we've got some images and then those learning objectives recaps. And then we would move into the assessment. PMA also has exclusive courses for metal spinning. This is PMA-4002 operating the spinning machine. You can see our learning objectives and we'll move through here. We've got examples of different kinds of machines, your personal protective equipment, basic operator controls. So as you can see, all of that was generic enough where it applies to any piece of equipment. And as we move forward, we've got the steps, so loading and securing the blank. Starting the spindle. So as you can see, similar look and feel to the rest of our courses. Now we've got a different kind of exercise called a practice exercise. So we've got to click the blank to put it in. We've got to click the hand wheel to apply tailstock pressure. We've got to click the lever to verify that it's locked. And click the button to turn the spindle on. And then is it centered, yes or no? 
So we won't do the rest of the activity, but you get the idea of how we're trying to keep the learner engaged. So we'll move forward here at a little bit higher speed. And now we're getting towards the end. So we're at the things to remember. So let's walk through. So we've got all sorts of learning objectives because this was a pretty technical course. And remember, the learner can also download the study guide PDF at any point in time. So now that we've reviewed all the things to remember, we would be ready to take the assessment. PMA also partners with other content providers to provide a full suite of training courses to meet your needs. As you saw from our course catalog, those includes all sorts of technical areas as well as soft skills. This one, for instance, is work holding devices and tooling for a CNC lathe. So similar layout, we have learning objectives. And then as we move through the course, there'll be images. And of course, this is narrated just like everything else. There'll be interactions, so different kinds of chucks. And as we move forward, there's more definitions, there's more interactions. And you can replay those as many times as needed. So we'll move through at a pretty fast clip here since you've seen this style of course. And then at the end of the course, just like always, there's a things to remember. So you can click the play button as many times as it lights up there. And those are, again, included in the PDF downloadable study guide. So at this point, the student would be ready to take the assessment. Metalform EDU also has courses related to materials. This particular course is MAT-2002 Ferrous Metals. So as you can see, we've got our learning objectives, and we can walk through some of this content. So we talk about cast iron versus steel and various steel alloys and iron alloys. Talk a little bit about how cast iron is made, different applications of wrought iron, steel and steel alloys and some of the common products, plain carbon steels, and we've got some interaction here. Alloy steels and more information about each of those elements. And as we move forward, we talk through some of the associations that have uh, specifications about materials, different numbering systems, color coding and how it can be useful and what it means. And then we get to the things to remember. So again, we've got some images and then learning objectives that are also covered within the study guide that the students can download. And at this point, the student would be ready to take the assessment. PMA also offers an occupational and knowledge aptitude assessment. It is a four part 60 question test that assesses different areas of mechanical aptitude, spatial and mathematical reasoning, measurement, use of communication and information, and the understanding of basic industry knowledge and behaviors. This is great for job candidates or for possible promotions or transfers within the company. So we'll just check out a quick sampling of some of the questions. So we've got ones that are pictorial. There are ones that relate to gears and pulleys. There are ones about measurement scales. ones about leverage, etc. So we'll close this section and then we'll move on to the next section, just show a couple questions here. So these are more around straight shot math, so tolerances and dimensions, times, looking at blueprints, measuring distances, calculations, measurements, We'll move into the third section here quickly. Comprehending information from documents. So 
So as you can imagine, that section is applicable for all sorts of roles within the shop and the office. And now we'll look at the last section very briefly. So this is about reading comprehension and using logic and deduction. And it also asks some questions that are related to equipment at the shop or shop processes. So that's a quick overview of our assessment.